Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. For those who do not know me, my name is Nom Shanga. I am an immigrant nurse living and working in Germany. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I really appreciate you all so much. Anyway, on today's video, I'll be just sharing with you 25 facts about me. Um, a few days ago, I did a question and answer on Instagram um for this video and to my surprise i got more than 500 questions and oh i can't share all of them here um so what i did is i just selected 25 the rest i will do another video uh some other time selected these ones for you today so you can just get to know a bit about me and anyway, so let's jump into today's video why did you choose to be a nurse i chose to be a nurse because i've always loved being a nurse um from when i was growing up i would see my grandmother who was a nurse and I'll just admire her uniform. So I'm now at a place where passion meets career. That's why I chose nursing. That main reason. It gives me fulfillment being a nurse. And I'm happy I chose that one. Um, the second question is, what are you most thankful for? I'm most thankful for my life. Hey, I've seen it all. I have, huh? I have lived. Hey like from the bad from the good from the amazing from the great like um i'm thankful for my life and also i'm thankful for my family where i come from and the family that i've created like i'm so thankful for that it gives me purpose why did you choose germany of all countries <laughs> I chose Germany because it's the country that offered me opportunity when I needed it. Ah, uh, of course, I have got relatives in UK, in Australia, in Canada, America, and all that. But um, Germany came as the easiest way for me to relocate from home to um to the diaspora, and I grabbed that opportunity. Um. What are you most afraid of? Death. You know, I can't imagine losing a family member. Like, it's it's so painful. We have lost family members, brothers, and so It's so painful. And, and anything death-related really scares me until this day. I can't imagine passing away. What will happen to my child? Hey, like, you know, death scares me a lot that's the more like most the most um what is your favorite family vacation i would say anyway with water anyway where there is a sea i'm happy what motivates you to work hard you know um the fear of being broke hey i've been broke <laughs> and I don't want it ever again in life. You know, it might happen. It happens, eh? But uh, the fear of being broke, when I just sit down and think of being lazy, then I think of, oh, what could I do with my time? Let me work. Yeah, because girl wants that f those fine things. Um, what, um, what's your favorite childhood memory? um playing in the streets at home would play like umam chayana with uh friends in our street like uh just with like with the ball um yeah that that's something that i'll forever remember and um visiting uh the village where we would visit my grandparents yeah when they were still alive that was something amazing yeah, it was beautiful. That's, I'll forever remember that. Oh, when it was payday and my mom would go with us to the city center 
uh, to do some errands and shopping. And then uh, she'll then buy us a meal at a restaurant, guys. That memory is always here. Like, it's, it's amazing. And the next one. What was your favorite subject in school? History. I loved history. You know, my history teacher was Miss Ngomo. In, that was at St. James High School back in 2003, 2004, yeah, five, six days. Um, she was amazing. And I was even the history monitor. That's how much I loved it. Are you a morning person or night owl? I'm a night owl. I don't like waking up in the morning. Although I'm shooting this video at six o'clock in the morning now, you know, I, I, to, I just said to do it because later today I'm leaving for my vacation. What's your dream job? Housewife. Housewife. Stay at home, mom. If you could wear one color for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Black. Um... What does your dream house look like? Um, a farmhouse with a farm kitchen um, with an island over there in the middle um, facing a bush or maybe like it was awesome to say facing nature. Like, hey, it's, yeah, th th that's a dream. I want to live that slow life and... I don't know, oh, by the way, I no longer like the city life. I like so small town life, like where I live now, you know, a quiet place, you know, watching my kids run in the garden. That's my type of house where I can see, have all that, you know, not a very big house, but something beautiful, well organized and clean. You know what I'm saying? Um... If you had the power to change anything, what would it be? The healthcare system in my home country. You know, this is so dear to me. It's, you know, it's so painful. When I visited home last year, I went to the our local clinic where we used to get our immunization when we were kids. And I went to one big hospital. So I just wanted, uh, well, in the big hospital, uh, I had a relative who was there. So I went to visit them. I was so sad that, you know, I had to buy drips medication for her. But she's at the hospital where she has to be getting the medication. The bed that she was lying on, the toilets, and it was said at the clinic, the queue, which was there, like, it was a lot, guys, really, really a lot. And yeah, if I could change that, that would be something I would be so proud of. What's your view on marriage? Marriage is an amazing union for two imperfect people creating something great with the guidance of the Lord. I love being married. I love marriage. I love, you know, weddings. I love everything about marriage. Like it's something beautiful. And if it's done according to the ways of the Lord, it's something beautiful are you mostly proud of about yourself <laughs> everything everything i'm a god getter i'm friendly i am nasty um i'm i've got an open mind i can i accommodate people i kick people out I love people, but I love my private space. Like, that's what I love about me, that I'm a jack of all trends. You know, someone 
Two people can be put here and they'll be asked about me. I'm sure they'll say different things about me, depending on the role I've played in their lives. But I love myself about that, that I'm flexible. What's the favorite thing about the city or town you live in? It's peaceful. I live in a small town, just like in the outskirts of, a, uh, of Stuttgart, a very big city in Germany. So I love living here because it's so peaceful. It's a perfect environment for raising uh, children. And yeah, I just love everything. The nature, everything here. Where are your roots? My roots are in Wulawayo. Wulawayo. Yeah, that's where I come from. And I'm very, very proud to be a Ndebele girl. Oh, Ndebele mommy. <laughs> What's the most interesting place that you, you have ever visited? I would say it's Luxembourg. I love Luxembourg because it's very small, yet it's rich. By rich, I mean like, uh, you, you know, it gives you a certain peace. That country is like just everything. If I was to relocate from Germany, you would find me in Luxembourg. Um, transport is for free. It's clean. The locals are friendly. Like, I, I love, I, I, love, I just love everything about Luxembourg. What's your favorite quote? Live every day like it's your last day on earth. Ever since I started doing this myself, I've seen positive results. What is your child's proudest accomplishment? <laughs> okay, my son. Whenever he goes to the toilet and he poops, uh, <laughs> It's an achievement. We have to clap hands because he's now a big boy. He can clean up after himself. He washes his hands. So he would call you to come and see him, how he washes hands, how he cleans himself and all that. So like it's his top moment. Like, or even when he finishes his food, like on his plate, it's like, mommy, look. Yeah, I won. I'm like, I'm an eater. I'm so super. I'll grow up to be a big boy. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, those are his two favorite, <laughs> like, uh, uh, accomplishments. Um, what are your hobbies? Reading. I read a lot. I love reading. Cooking. Cooking is like even therapy to me. I'm not lazy to cook. Guys, I can't even... Uh, cook at midnight that's how uh, how much i love cooking and my favorite expensive hobby is traveling I, we do not waste any days here in this family like when we've got four days off we have to make sure uh, maybe, maybe there is something that we can see here in switzerland and then we're on the way we love traveling so much how many pairs of shoes do you own I own 12 pairs of shoes, just 12, nothing more, nothing less. When a new one comes in, another needs to go out. I donate. Um, I've, I'm trying this minimalist lifestyle on such things. And I would rather spend on traveling than buying a lot of things that I won't even wear. Um, are you a clean or messy person? I'm clean. I'm clean. Yes, I'm clean. I'm not messy. <laughs> do you collect anything? Oh, yes. Yeah, I do. Um, fridge magnets. Whenever we travel to a new place, we, um, my, yeah, now I do it with my family. Yeah. I collect, we, we buy these fridge magnets. So we keep it as, um, memories. And now I have started collecting. I want some classic bags. So far, I only have got two. But I wish to collect maybe up to five. Oh, yeah, when the finances allow even up to ten. 
these ones will be given to my uh daughter-in-law my grandkids and oh, you know all that i want to have something classic for my family even when whenever i'm no longer alive um i'll even write that on my will that please give this back to my sister give this one to my niece to my nephew so that they have something they will pass on to another generation okay how many languages do you speak I am fluent in Isindebele and English, of course. Um, and then in German, I'm very good. Um, though I wish to be fluent, so soon I have to be fluent. Um, and then I can understand basic French and just like the basic Nguni languages. Um, it is Shona. I wish I could speak Shona fluently, eh? but it's so difficult. I mix it up like, hey, you know, and you go, you man, and you know, do you know, doba doba, but Shona apple. But I really, really wish to learn it. Um, and then I wish to be fluent in Spanish and also in French. French, I did up to A2 French language so now i wish i could do even more that would be great and then the last one how did bunting mommy come about so um i gained a lot of weight when i came to germany and then i after the birth of my son i thought okay why not lose this weight so that's how bunting mommy came about through posting pictures of the food that I ate in order to inspire other people. So I just became mindful of what I eat. I am, I do not eat only keto or bunting. No, I, well, now I can control my portions um, and I eat what I like. But most of the times I'm mindful of what goes into my mouth. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's how Banting Mummy came up about. And oh, I love it. Like it has been my first love. It's like I created a brand. Yeah, we're now on the road to 100,000 followers on Instagram. And I'm proud of myself. You know, getting all those organic followers, like real people, not just, you know, no, real. Like, yeah, it's been a journey since 2021. And now we're in 2024. I'm really impressed. Anyway, this is all that I could tell you about me. Now, um, one of the days whenever I'm back on my vacation and I'm less busy, I'm going to share with you, like, uh, maybe on a live session where I can answer even you directly on, like, on the things that you wish to know about me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.